Hello everybody. So, we're going to cover artificial insemination of sows. Now, a little bit different, uh, but I'm going to go over the steps first thing. So to start off, you got to have your semen. Now, we ordered ours. It's one of those things that has to be ship same day um, you can't store it oh I got a barn door opening but uh, anyways you order it it's there within 24 hours and you use it unfortunately pig semen is one of those things that cannot be stored long term unlike with artificially inseminating cattle where you can have a tank in the corner and store your semen indefinitely so and also it's this is slightly different so, I have right here is a thing right here, Hogmate. This is a boar scent. So if you got, once you got your semen, um, you can spray this 8 to 12 inches. I like closer to 12 inches away from a sow's nose. Spray it towards her nose and it will help bring her into estrus. Um, it will help her settle because a boar while it's breeding a sow actually is spitting um, on the sow so this here what I like to do is after I've sprayed some in the pen to see how they if they're interested then I will actually while I am putting the semen in them I will spray some of it over the heads so hogmate helps you Detect, you know, helps you detect if they show a lot of interest in it, they're coming in heat. And if you miss that time, mark it on the calendar. 21 days average away, and you will have a sow in heat again. So, and the next thing we're going to be using is a lube. Um, so this one here is make sure when you're using the lube for the straw, um, make sure it is a non-spermicide lubricant kind of fighting against yourself if you're using a spermicide lube so yeah you want all the semen to get in there and do its job the next thing let me set this camera down this here I was able to get sanitized so I know it's good and clean all the way through this here is the straw that we will be using this will be inserted into the Sow, this is shaped very similar to a boar, believe it or not. So this is a nice rubber tip, plastic tubing, the semen jug, which will look like a little IV bag. We'll go through into here, lock in, and I will go over the rest of the details in a minute. So we'll put this back in the bag so it stays nice and clean. Um, so when also when dealing with sows, just a little safety note. Sows and heat can be temperamental. You want to do this when it's nice and quiet, not a lot of people around. Uh, if you do have people show up to teach them how to do it, make sure they're nice and quiet. They can ask questions, but keep the roar down to a minimal. Um, so I have four tubes of, se tubes of semen and I'll be giving them each one tonight in 12 hours tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, that clock behind me is wrong. Um, tomorrow morning, 12 hours later, I am going to give them the second dose each. Um, we are breeding these two sows. One is for confirmation. Well, they're both technically for confirmation. But one is more for kind of showish quality, um, and the other one is, of course, for um, consumption. Um, so, raising for bigger pig, basically. Now I'll just show you real here. So, yours when you order semen, depending on who you go through. So these guys, this is a pretty big box because I ordered four doses, two for each sow. So it will come wrapped in a cooler and then wrapped in a cooler again. That is to make sure that it stays the temperature it should. 
this gets stored at room temperature in his as you can see store at 64 degrees Fahrenheit it's marked all over this box all cooler um, I'm gonna tell you right now that depending on what you're going for artificial insemination can get a little pricey but it's worth it in the end because you are one, you get more in touch with the hogs, and you um, learn their cycles. So let's go look at the lovely ladies. So these guys are calming down now very nicely. They're right over there. Got them in a nice big pen. So I brought them inside a couple days ago to make sure that I would be able to catch them in their heat. So they're calm, so I'm not too worried. Um, just as like I said, a warning. We try to breed our sows, or any of our pigs, we try to breed them to be more docile, right from the get-go. Not all pigs, of course, are bred for that. So, safety note, always treat a sow that's in heat as a potential risk when you're getting in a pen with her. Alright, so I'm going to wait for my person to come be my watchdog in case something happens, and here he comes. Hi. So for all those out there, this is what your boar semen comes in. Cute little IV bag. Burke, that's the show dude. Alright, so we're going to get this girl here first. Oh, baby. So first thing I need to do, lube the straw. Be liberal with it. I'm wearing gloves just for sanitation purposes. I want to make sure that there's no strange things happening. And I blow through the straw. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to try to get one up. Come on, Opal. Come on, Opal. Come on, baby. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into her vagina. I'm going to screw it in just a little bit. And once I get this piece in, then I'm going to aim up towards the back and I'm going to follow it, push it in gently. And when it comes to, I'm very carefully and slowly, I'm going to push it in and it's going to come to a little bit of a stop. Stop there. Don't try to put it in any farther. Oh, she's sitting on her tail. <sighs> Nice and slow. And it stops. And that there, just twist off. And then you push it in like that. And just to get it started, Give it a little squeeze. You want it to drain as naturally as possible, but to fill the straw, you have to work it in a little. And then you sit there just like this for a while. <laughs>
just make sure that it's in like it's supposed to be. Okay, so now we're going to let it drain in because it starts back shooting. Just let it drain in slow. Okay. Now, some people have different schools of thought on this, but if she was standing, then I would be actually rubbing her side and also her udder, petting her like a dog. That way she would, it would help her settle because it mimics the motions of a boar right here. Of course, I am covered in lube. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. here we go. Hog meat. Just a little scent. We sprayed them earlier, like I said, sprayed them in the nose from about a foot away. And then I actually had we sprayed a couple walls in here in this pen. So it got them really really set for a minute. So like I was saying earlier, if they don't settle 21 days, they'll come into heat again. Um, if not, if they settle like they're supposed to and they become pregnant, three months, three weeks, and three days. Some people even go as far as um, three hours, three minutes, and three seconds, but I personally am not that into going that much detail. I'm good with three months, three weeks, and three days. <laughs> but we will be, after this one, We I will be coming into here tomorrow morning in 12 hours from now, and I will be giving them each a second dose. I'll be making sure that old Betty here, she gets the Burke, and Opal gets Whatever that dude is. Um, Fred. You will go, yeah, we'll call him Fred. We'll call him Fred. Fred. Burke and Fred. Burke and Fred. Mm. Yeah, that's... They're being pretty calm right now. Oh, very calm. I am so happy. Um, when we sprayed that hog mate in there, in here, um, we got out and they went wild. It was amazing. Um, they were actually fighting over the sections of walls where we'd sprayed it. So we're like, yeah, I'm glad it came when it did. Um, I was actually, I will admit, I was worried that our semen would not get, in, would not arrive soon enough. <laughs> um, but it has worked out. Uh, Opal here, the black and white, she actually, I don't know if you can see, but she's got her rump hairs are raised right up. She comes into heat a lot like a cow. Um, hairs on her on her rear just start raising up. Betty, not so much. Um, I can see where Opal has ridden her a little bit. Um, and it's ruffled up. Maybe that, well, that could be too from her scratching her rear on the wall. But, um, yeah, and they had nice, they were, their vaginas were swelled up real nice. Um, they hadn't quite gotten to the end of the cycle milky mucus um, which if they get that far how you can tell is you'll actually well everybody says stick your thumb in there um, I say just you know get a little bit on get a little bit on your finger uh, gloved hand is better and then you stick it in just like this and then you pull it away and if it's sticky and it actually forms a string you know they're at the end 
of their cycle. And they mark it on the calendar. Last day. Um, but that also depends on the hog. Um, some of them will go longer. But you mark it down when you saw that milky white mucus um, coming out, that discharge. And then you can get a better idea of your pig's in this case, yeah, these sows, they're, they're, they're getting hog size um, and age. But uh, then you can mark it and you can actually plan ahead and be like, okay, so 21 days from this <coughs> day that I saw this is when they'll chill. That particular sow will have that discharge. And then you can plan ahead and be like, okay, so what five days in between from that end to the beginning? and you can plan for what day you should have your semen head. Um, like I said, I lucked out when I ordered this. Um, I got, I ordered yesterday, and I got that yesterday's um, collection. So, this is good fresh semen. Under 24 hours, well, just a little over 24 hours old. How long will it keep? <laughs> That's why they ship same day that you order, um, or you try to plan ahead for a breeding. Um, this here is not like bull semen. You can't just throw it in the tank and keep it indefinitely in the cold. This has to be kept at 64 degrees, and I think the absolute longest I've heard is like three days and it's still be viable. Um, you might be able to get longer if you're able to keep it at the exact 64 degrees, but I say play it safe. As soon as you get it, get it in them. Yeah. Um, just about done. Oh, Betty, you such a good girl. Yeah, I think we've got these guys at the perfect timing. Also, something I forgot to mention. So I moved these guys into this barn Monday. It is now Tuesday. If your sows are getting ready to come in, if they haven't come in yet, and you move them, it will help bring them into heat. That's a little trick for everybody. Um, just a change of scenery. It's absolutely amazing. Hi, Opal. <laughs> Opal's just like, I'm snoozing, man. I'm so tired. <laughs> All this being in heat tuckers me out. Oh, man. they. Now, I've got to admit, these sows um, are awesome. I mean, they just... I don't know where they, what farm they came from originally, but um, they were treated. Mm -hmm. Because these guys here, normally a sow in heat, I am a little nervous. But these guys <sighs> haven't had any problems with them. They don't. They don't make me nervous. Um, normally a sow comes in heat, and if you don't have a boar, you're on the run, <laughs> or you keep them penned up because they. You just. You don't dare go. Don't go near them. Um, years ago, me and my family had uh, four sows. They came, all came to heat at the same time. They broke out, and they quite literally tried to eat us. <laughs> um, back and forth a little bit, get some air exchange in there. But yeah, those ones there too that me and my family raised at that point. They were also land race. Um, some people call them land raised. They uh, are a very large breed. All right, there's Betty. Good job, Betty. Now let's see if we can't get Opal. Opal is getting Vanguard. Vanguard. And he's a Dur uh, Duroc. 
So Betty got this guy. Oh, she got a Burke, and his name is Tipping Point. Hmm. So that one's the show one they gave me. Um, and different in prices for the the two significant. Very significant. Um, so instant, for instance, uh, this red one here, fifty dollars for this tube. Fifty dollars a tube. This guy, because he was a second choice, they allowed me to have him for seventy to five dollars. Show the show ones. Now I'm going to look this guy up later to get the exact price, but range from they had two sh the company I used, they had two show hogs for fifty dollars a pop each, but the rest were two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars a tube for one of these tubes. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> um, lube. Okay, so in between pigs. Make sure you put more lube on that cheek. Could I hold that, please? Don't squeeze it. It is open. Um, again, make sure it's non spermicide. See that corkscrew right there? Yeah. Got to lube that up real good. And I like to do the corkscrew motion. This is actually, believe it or not, this is shaped very similar to a boar's penis. Um, though of course it's more solid because it's got to have the tube, but uh, yeah. So the first time I'll admit, the first time I saw a boar go to breed a sow, I giggled and laughed because it was this little curly Q corkscrew that came out. Um, <laughs> and that's so they can lock into the vagina, correct? Yes. Um, similar, similar to a duck, but not like a duck. Hmm. Uh, fun fact for everyone that don't know, a female duck goes counterclockwise. A male duck goes clockwise. Um, so it allows that to lock right in. Locks right in. I'm going to get this in before All I right. attach that. Cool. Um, it locks right in, yes, and um, but also a duck has... Um, dead points so they can actually discourage rape among their own kind. Um, and quite literally stop a whole nother uh, a duck that, say a male duck that is breeding with a female that's unwanted. Um, she can quite literally stop his genetics from ever occurring. It's amazing the animal world. It's fascinating. Um, Pigs, though, the most four-legged creatures, they uh, they got a male that they don't want to breed with. They, they fight them off. Okay, a little squeeze to get it started in there. So yeah, this was that raised hair I was talking about earlier. Nice and smooth from the back, then her rump. Two days from now, this will be flat right back down again. It is amazing. I should give you a little apron for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> then I can have everything right in the chest. Yeah. it right here. Um, easy grab. That's why they made chest pockets, though. Y yes, yes. Let's set like that for a minute. I gotta get my hog meat. So I will be building a box later for breeding sows. Um. Then I won't have to sit here like a goofball. But again, whoo, smell that hog bait. Oh, oh, 
Oh, she's just like a dog. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So again, rubbing to help her settle. Because on her I can. And she's just like a dog. Look at oh she just rubs it. Look at that. Oh my <laughs> these guys are like overgrown dogs. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Heard this interesting 